Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day. So for today's reading, we'll be taking a look at what message does the deepest part of your soul want to tell you today. And for some reason, I felt really, really like strongly called to do this reading today uh, because sometimes I feel like we tend to ignore what our soul is telling us to do, what our intuition, what our gut um, is telling us to do. So I hope that through this reading today, some messages will come up for you that will, you know, resonate and it will kind of confirm with you you know, what you're feeling and what your soul is initiating within you. So I hope that you can find some kind of clarity through this reading today. And we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the timestamps, which are in the description box. And I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading today about what is the message that the deepest part of your soul would like to tell you guys today. So for your pile, you guys chose the mentor card. Okay, very beautiful. So I'm going to start right away with some tarot cards for you, pile number one, to see what is the message coming from the deepest part of your soul for you today. Um, the first thing that I heard for you guys is that your soul is ready to go places. I heard that very strongly in the beginning when I started to record your reading. So it feels like your soul is maybe ready for something new or they're ready for changes. They're ready for something exciting, for speed. That's kind of what I'm hearing for you guys. Let's see your cards though so we can see exactly what the message for you today is. The soul of pile number one, what would you like to tell them today? What is the message that you would like to deliver to my lovely pile number one? What does the deepest part of your soul want to tell you today, pile number one? What would the deepest part of your soul like to tell you? Okay, let's take a look at your cards first. So, for your first card, you guys have the sun. Wow. I want to say that your soul feels happy, okay? Your soul wants to tell you that they're feeling happy right now. I don't know, maybe some of you are feeling happy. Some of you are maybe like, I don't know, I don't really feel happy. But it feels like your soul feels happy. Your soul feels harmony. It feels peace and balance, right? Maybe your mind is not able to recognize it. Maybe some of you are feeling very happy. Well, this is also letting you know that happiness is right around the corner. Let's see the rest of your cards. Yeah, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I'm hearing trust your pursuit and trust what you're doing right now. Trust where you're going. Um, you have the Five of Cups. You guys have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and Knight of Swords. Okay, I'm hearing a very positive message for you guys. What I heard for you guys is don't doubt yourself. And I heard this very strongly from your soul. It's saying, don't doubt yourself and don't doubt your abilities right now. You cannot do this right now because it feels like you guys are like about to catch some kind of momentum. Or maybe you're very close to making like a big leap of faith or taking a step further. Or maybe you. it feels like you have been going through maybe a period of self-doubt and your soul is like, don't do that right now. Like, don't fall back into that like pattern. Don't... Um, because it feels like you guys have pulled yourself out of it, but maybe some periods lately have been a bit more doubtful for you is what I'm getting. Or maybe you have been reflecting on experiences from the past that maybe didn't work out, maybe disappointed you. So some of you might have, maybe recently have been re reflecting about your past and what you have been going through. And I feel your soul is telling you no. Don't doubt yourself at this moment because there is some big things that you can achieve at the moment or some big things that are kind of like... um you're maybe you're currently pursuing them or you're uh, going towards them right uh your soul is telling me make room for greatness make room for positivity make room for change um i feel it's maybe time to kind of stop going back to the past that's what i'm getting for you pile number one some of you although i feel that you are far along in your journey and you have a lot of experiences it feels like you have been striving and moving towards something here uh but your soul maybe you have a tendency to go back to the past or to reflect a lot on the past experiences um that don't make you happy right with the five of cups 
I feel your soul is saying like we need to cut that out. We need to stop doing that. We need to focus on what we have in our life and what we have built in our life because I feel that you guys are kind of far along in your journey here. Um, and I'm also getting that your soul with the Eight of Pentacles here, Knight of Swords, it's ready to start moving um, with something at full speed. So it's ready to take up on something in a more serious and committed way. I feel this is regarding your work because you do have the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. It could be about the pursuit of your career path or a project that you're currently working on or something. It feels like your soul is ready to take up on this full time. It's ready to do this like, um, you know, this is it's today or not or or never that kind of energy. So it's ready to commit. I'm seeing to pursuing a career path or pursuing a project because I feel that this will bring you a lot of happiness and when you go and pursue this uh, don't go back into your old self don't fall back into your old thinking patterns your old belief patterns what didn't work out in the past maybe you guys are giving something like a second chance maybe you're giving something another try that didn't work out in the past or it, it might be like related to a field where you experience some disappointments uh, but your soul is telling you just because it didn't work out back then, it doesn't mean it's not going to work now. Because I feel that even when you guys, like if you go back to, because it see there's with the Five of Cups, I see that you can think of a moment right now where it really disappointed you. Like you really felt positive about it, but it, it really did disappoint you. And I see this in your past. So if you go back to that moment, I'm sure that now you'll be you will be able to realize that still, even in that moment, you were not left with nothing, right? It feels like with the two cups remaining, even though something didn't work out, maybe the universe or God, right? Whoever your belief is, they didn't leave you with nothing still, right? They still gave you something. They still gave you something to pull you up on your feet to probably redirect your energy towards something that's more aligning for you guys. And I feel that your soul right now is telling you, do not doubt yourself like keep hearing that do not doubt yourself it feels like your soul again is like ready to go places it's ready to explore it's ready to catch speed um it's ready to commit to something full time so don't fall back into the old patterns um try to keep as much of a positive mind as you can right now try to think of as much as positive affirmations as you can uh, because it feels like your soul is just wanting you to remain positive regarding your career pursuit and regarding your career path in the future and what you guys are working on what you're currently pursuing because the moment you start to doubt yourself right um, the moment you start to compare yourself to other people, uh, you can be doing that something that's really amazing and something that's like very valuable. But the moment when you start to doubt yourself, it kind of goes out the window, right? Because you're kind of diminishing everything that you've done before, all the hard work that you've done prior. So your soul is really telling you like, this is not the time to doubt. This is not the time to go back, compare yourself to the past version of yourself or compare yourself to other people or do any of that like um, almost like self-sabotage. This is the time to remain positive. This is the time to look in the into the future with a positive outlook, positive mindset that whatever you guys are doing will work uh, because you do see it catching speed. Let's get an affirmation card for you guys to see what does the deepest part of your soul want to tell you. Call number one. Let's see what's your message. You have con conscious focus. What I focus on, I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow in my life. This is exactly what I was, what I was saying with you guys remaining positive at the moment. Because again, our thoughts create our reality, right? So um, this is not the time for you to go back and to doubt yourself. That's what I'm hearing. And that's where, what your soul is trying to tell you to uh, make a conscious decision when it comes to where your thought, where your thoughts are going and where your focus is going daily. So... Your soul is saying to you to remain positive and to choose consciously to focus your mind on the things that you have, on gratitude, on positive things, positive thinking. That's what I'm seeing. Your soul is like, I'm seeing a very strong message for you guys. Remain positive, remain hopeful, remain happy. Um, 
because it feels like what you guys are going through is almost the exact energy I'm picking up is like self-doubt coming from the past and the past is the past we kind of need to learn to let go of it because that way is the only way that we can feel like we have a sense of control regarding our future um some senior soul again keeps bringing me the message of like you can't doubt yourself right now you can't doubt your abilities right now you can't doubt your talents right now it, it's almost like giving me like we've been over this like hundreds and hundreds of times and you've gotten so far along that we can just not do this anymore that's kind of what i'm getting like i see that you guys are so talented you have the eight of pentacles like you're so hardworking. you're so talented you know the quote that comes to my mind for you guys is that hard work always beats talent and i feel that you have that magic to you you're very talented i feel like you're the type of people who can like achieve anything that you want like whatever you pick up whatever you start um your mind is so open-minded to the point where you can just accept any kind of knowledge you have the mentor so you're really good at learning you have as well the owl you're very wise you guys are really good at learning and i feel that you understand this very well you understand the concept of affirmations very well the positive thinking uh but you know we're humans and sometimes we just tend to doubt ourselves and be like is this worth it is this really like worth it especially when we get close to the end of something um but i feel your mind is just saying like keep keep up the positive outlook the soul of pile number one what would you like to tell them what message does pile number one need to hear from you at the moment you guys have dear trust approach the situation with a light heart so yeah i feel like you guys have been like a bit lately maybe you have been too much like again uh, going back to maybe the past or doubting yourself so you have trust i feel that you need to trust what's happening right now you need to trust yourself that you can do this that you can accomplish this that you can successfully finish this project maybe you guys are like because you have the eight of pentacles it's kind of giving me you're very close to maybe finishing something or you're very close to kind of solidifying something in your life um and you know this is this is like the moments where we tend to start to doubt ourselves the most because we're almost at the finish line so we're like well, okay this is my chance now so we'll see how it goes right so you kind of start to doubt yourself uh but i feel your soul is just telling you to trust and you have deer which is a very innocent um animal so i see that what you guys are doing is coming from purity it's coming from innocence like you have genuine energy behind what you're putting in your work in and you know you have approached the situation with a light heart just try to have a light heart towards towards the situation because it feels like that's what it's calling for. You know, that's what your soul is telling you to do. Like, be more lighthearted, be more positive, um, more hopeful. Again, although I feel like you guys like are not so deep into like self doubt, it feels like maybe you're just it's just coming up naturally for you guys. So it's just important to you know realize when that starts to happen so that you can consciously cut it away. Call number one, what is your message coming from your soul? You have strength, you have trust, you have strength. Uh, your soul really just wants you guys to remain strong, to remain faithful to whatever you're doing right now. Because I see that, you know, let's check, let's check. Because I see that maybe some of you are doubting how this is going to work out. So I will get a tarot card to see how is this project or this thing that you're working on. What is going to be the result? Let's see. For my lovely from the one soul, what is going to be the results of whatever you're working on right now? Look at this. You guys have the death card. You have the wheel of fortune. Six of wands. Okay, I'm seeing this is going to change your life completely, Paul number one. The thing that you're currently working on, Paul number one, is going to completely change your life because you have the death card and the wheel of fortune. This is going to be towards the positive. The wheel of fortune is the moment of luck, right? Um, and you have the six of wands. I see this bringing fame. I see this bringing recognition. I see it reaching an audience of people or maybe you guys want clients. So I see it reaching people. I see it reaching the ears, the soul touching the souls of people whatever you guys are going to put out there it feels like people are, people are going to be applauding you people are going to be recognizing you for it congratulating you for it so um here is your reassurance so that you guys keep going with a positive mind that whatever this project or this career focus you're working on it's going to completely change your life for a much more like for the much more positive right we have wheel of fortune that's moment of destiny it's moment of fortune it's um the good luck card 
good, moment of good luck happening, uh, especially followed with the Six of Wands, is showing us clearly that this will reach success, it will reach fame, it will reach recognition. All right, Palmer one to your reading, I'm going to get some self-care tips. Oh, sorry. That, I think that was loud. Um, I'm going to get some self-care tips coming from your soul. The soul of Palmer number one, what self-care tips do you have for my lovely Palmer one? What's something that they can do to take better care of themselves or nourish themselves better? Any advice for yourself? Let's take a look. So for your first card, you guys have connect with the earth. So it feels like you guys... Uh, really do well in nature, maybe go hiking, you know, it, this kind of card just calls for grounding, it calls for you to calm down, I feel maybe some of you have been feeling more anxious than usual lately, or just worried, and I really do feel connecting in nature can help us like ground ourselves, bring ourselves kind of back to reality, because when we start to get too anxious, we tend to get too much in our head, so it feels like connecting with the earth, and you also, again, you have the number 13, um, confirming the death card, so Connecting with the earth, doing something in nature, I feel that's something that your soul wants. Maybe you guys haven't been spending a lot of time in nature lately. Uh, and the soul always calls for nature. No matter who you are or where you live, the soul always calls for nature, for earth, because it's where we come from. So if it's something that you haven't been doing so much of lately, I think that this will work for you really well. Or just continue doing it if you have been practicing this. And again, you have breathe in bliss, exhale BS. So it does feel like your soul is wanting like grounded energy. It's wanting nature. It's wanting meditation. It's wanting for you to calm yourself down and bring your presence back to your soul. Because it feels like some of you have been to maybe like again in your head and your soul just wants you to bring that focus back inwards and you do this by meditating, by sitting still, by being in peace, being in nature, surrounded by peaceful energy and harmony. So it feels like your soul is really like craving some ground and energy, some nature time, some meditation time, you know, maybe going for a hike alone, uh, going for a nature walk alone in peace. I feel that's really going to help you guys and your soul to connect better with your soul, right? But that's what I have for your reading today, poll number one. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful poll number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about what is the message coming from the deepest part of your soul. So for your card today, you guys have the king card. Okay, very beautiful. Uh, I'm hearing for you guys, your soul is calling for leadership, okay? Your soul is coming uh, is calling for authenticity, for stepping up. That's kind of the initial energy that I'm getting here from you. Uh, I will begin with some tarot cards for you today, right away though, so we can see exactly what is the message coming from the deepest part of your soul for you. For my lovely poem number two, soul of lovely poem number two, can you please let us know what is your message for yourself right now? What would you like to tell yourself the deepest part of poll number two's soul? Let's see. So you guys have the Ten of Swords to begin with. I think this is a really good card, a really po positive card for a lot of you here because it's indicating that uh, you're kind of coming to an end of a period of hardships or a period of, again, kind of left, uh, life, sorry, maybe feeling a bit tough. Um, the higher fint. Okay, let's see. Wow, look at this Nine of Pentacles. Mm, okay, I like this. You also have the Two of Cups. I'm hearing your soul is wanting you to connect more with your soul. It feels like some of you have maybe been a bit like disconnected, feeling disconnected. And you also have Eight of Wands. Okay. So what does your soul want to tell you today, poll number two? I feel with the Hierophant here coming up um, and we see the person meditating, it does kind of give me a bit of energy that some of you have been a bit disconnected from your soul lately, um, maybe you more than the other piles. And um, maybe that's why you have been having maybe some kind of like I, I don't want to say hard time, but maybe some of you have been feeling a bit like down lately because you have been so disconnected from your soul. And when we are disconnected from ourselves, um, how are we supposed to feel our best and our highest, right? So uh, with the Nine of Pentacles here, Two of Cups, it, it almost like with this card, I'm, I'm kind of seeing like your soul is wanting you to go 
to go on a date with it or it's wanting to connect with you more um the way that you can do this is by taking time for yourself is what i'm getting maybe um try to do meditation maybe try to do something nice for yourself maybe take yourself out on a date right or maybe again i, I see that your soul is kind of craving for one-on-one -on -one time with you or it's craving for your attention for your care for your nurture um I'm hearing self-care for a lot of you, self-nurture for a lot of you. It feels like maybe you guys have been ignoring yourself lately or you haven't been paying uh, so much care for yourself. Eight of Wands, I'm hearing the moment you do this, you will start to see a lot of change and movement in your life. The moment you guys unite with your soul is when you're going to start to change, start to see a lot of change and movement. Because with the Eight of Wands, I see you guys becoming kind of busy or there will be like the sudden rush of events that come in your life or maybe signs synchronicities the moment that you reunite with your soul because at the moment it does feel like there is some kind of like um disconnection uh and, and the way that we create you know the way that we get disconnected from our soul is that we just start to think from our brain too much right we start to because the soul is i want to say the part of our heart the part of our chest and then if we start to use our logic too much our ego too much our mind too much we tend to get disconnected because your heart might be telling you oh maybe today i want to go on a walk but then your mind is telling you oh maybe it will start raining so it's better to stay inside right so so it's that kind of energy and then you end up not doing what your soul is kind of urging you to do so this can this example can be like applied to everything but that's the kind of energy that i'm getting for you is like feel like a lot of you have been a bit disconnected uh from your truth with the king here from your authority i do feel some kind of maybe have been restricting yourself in some kind of way or something like that and your soul is like hey i want to connect with you again i want to talk to you uh listen listen to my guidance because i'm guiding you towards movement i'm guiding you towards change so some of you have been feeling very stuck and stagnant i feel that this is because you have been uh putting too much focus and too much effort on your mind your logic and not your soul not your heart not your compassion inside your intuition so i feel like your soul really just wants to connect with you guys it it wants grounded energy it wants time with you again i feel the way that we connect with our soul is by eliminating distraction eliminating um things that make us worried or anxious so it, it feels like you kind of just need to see sit in like peace and quiet to just connect with your soul and be more in tune with your soul because the soul doesn't speak in fear it speaks in compassion it speaks in very gentle energy so if something is causing you so much fear and anxiety it's probably not coming from your soul right it's coming from your mind Let's see what else, the soul of pile number two, what would you like to tell yourself at this moment? You have casting spells. The words I speak and the stories I, I tell are like spells. What I say and believe I attract more of. So I shift my story from lack to abundance, from victim to empowered, and from complaint to gratitude. Now when I speak to others through my words, I'm casting beautiful spells. I feel something that your soul wants you to start doing is to start practicing more of this practice that is mentioned right here, which is, um, you know, focusing and speaking of the positive, not keep reaffirming um, maybe negative experiences or if something happened to you once, don't keep reaffirming it because you're solidifying it in your reality. I feel your soul wants you to wants you guys to pay more attention to the way that you speak and also speak more abundantly of yourself maybe some of you haven't been speaking so nicely about yourself maybe you have been um engaging in, in, in negative self-talk right so your soul is like i'm kind of just getting like be nicer to me like that's kind of what i'm getting from your soul like be kinder to me speak nicer to me like appreciate me more nurture me more care about me more uh, with the nine of pentacles i'm just getting like this really big need from your soul for just self-care for self-love self-appreciation um i really do feel your soul is just wanting your love and attention at this moment it, it needs it so that it can start to work again that's kind of what i'm getting so that it can start to you know trigger you again to make positive changes and positive movement in your life I feel that some of you haven't been doing that so much. Maybe you have been too busy or you just have been kind of maybe 
maybe something disappointed you so you kind of started to right spiral in that sense uh, but I feel your soul is just wanting you guys to you know to love it more this one keeps coming back to me like um shift my story from lack to abundance so um start to speak more abundantly of yourself especially with the nine of pentacles like that's kind of what i'm getting start to speak more of a place of empowerment towards yourself because with the king this is about leadership it's about stepping up it's very strong emperor energy so i do feel your soul is like wanting you to kind of put your foot down and to lead right to, to step up get back to your power Let's see what else. What does your soul want to tell you? Pile number two today. Have butterfly emerging. Take a leap of faith. I feel there is a need for you to guys, guys for you to trust yourself more. Um, maybe you maybe you don't trust yourself too like enough. It, that's kind of what it feels like to me. It's like, um, and this also kind of came out like a similar message came out in pile number one, but I feel yours is in a much different way than pile number one. Um, but it does feel like your soul is, you know, it's craving transformation. It's craving change. I'm hearing don't keep it in a box. Don't keep it stuck. Don't keep it like hidden inside. It does feel like it's, it's maybe you're currently a bit more disconnected than usual from your soul. And it's just wanting you to focus on it because it has, it has all the answers that you guys need. It has all the directions that you need. Um, I mentioned, once you get connected more with yourself, once you reunite with your soul, you will instantly start to see changes and movement in your life, synchronicities, downloads, idea. And why is this? Because you open the channel towards your soul and your soul knows everything. Your soul is there to guide you. It's like a compass, right? It's um, uh, I feel that the soul intuition, they're very much connected. And once you disconnect yourself from those things, you will start to feel very like um, directionless, I want to say, because your soul, your intuition is your inner compass. It's there to lead you through life. And the moment you connect the channel with it, the moment the ideas start to come in, the moment the guidance starts to come in, like, oh, I want to start doing this today. I want to start learning this today. And you take action towards it. So your soul wants you guys to trust it more. Trust that it will give you the guidance that you need in order to get and change your life for the better. You guys have to stop. Let's see what it is that you guys need to stop doing here. The soul of pile number two. What would you like to tell yourself? Have stop and you have creativity. Stop blocking your creativity is what I'm hearing. Stop blocking the inspiration that your soul is trying to give you guys. I feel this is connected to what I was saying before. It feels like you guys have been um, kind of boxing your soul or your creativity in some kind of way. The right, the downloads or the directions your soul has been giving you, you have been trying to block it, trying to suppress it because you maybe haven't been haven't been believing in yourself enough that you can do them and. Um, you know, you have to take a leap of faith. Maybe you feel like it's too much. It's too far of a stretch. You can't reach that high or it's not possible for you. Uh, it feels like you're letting your past hold you back in some kind of way here. And you're not trusting your soul that it's going to get you where you need to go. I feel that's where, what your soul is wanting to tell you. It's wanting to tell you to first stop with the past thinking. Then ground yourself, connect more with yourself, reunite yourself to the soul because that's when you will be able to receive clear guidance and direction towards movement in your future. <clears throat> and also stop blocking your creativity, stop suppressing your creativity, take a leap of faith towards what your soul is encouraging you guys to do. Okay, I'm going to get some self-care tips coming from your soul, some advice to see if there is something that you can do to make yourself feel better. Pull number two. The soul of pile number two, what is some advice you have for yourself? So you guys have make an altar. I'm hearing, so this is about focusing more on your spirituality, more on your faith, more on your belief. Maybe some of you want to create like an altar, which is like a sacred space for you guys where you can go, you know, and pray and have your time with the divine. For others of you, this can be just, you know, walking in nature and feeling appreciative for everything. So I do feel there is like a sense for encouraging you guys to have more faith, you know, have more trust, have more strength here. And you guys also have tune into your inner peace. What I was saying, like tune into your soul, tune into your inner peace. It does feel like you guys have been a bit too much in your mind lately. You have been lacking inner peace. 
so in order to tune into your inner peace you just have to like really block all the distractions that are keeping you away from being in that sacred space so uh, i feel right now your soul is wanting more peace it's wanting more connection with you it's wanting more trust coming from within from with you as well um again stop oppressing it stop because it feels like with the light bulb here and the eight of wands it's kind of like the light bulb card to me it's like receiving ideas receiving downloads from uh, the universe or from your soul and it feels like you guys have been like your soul gives you like this idea like oh let's let's start learning this language and you're like no i don't have time or i don't want to do this or it's it's going to be useless anyway like even if if i want to do it it's going to be useless maybe you have that kind of attitude um and i feel that your soul is just wanting you to go back a little bit and ground yourself because then you will be able to appreciate that idea in a different way and be like you know why would it be useless maybe me learning this new language can lead me to new job opportunities or it can lead me to new friendships it can lead me to you know i have something about me that makes me stand out so it does feel like your soul just wants you to connect more with it so that when they give you the ideas and the directions that you should take you're able to understand them as to why you should do those things right but that's what i have for you today polymer two I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful palm number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about the message coming from the deepest part of your soul that you guys are meant to receive at the moment. So for your card today, you guys chose the beautiful kiss card here. Okay, I love the image here, okay. So let's start with some tarot cards for you, palm number three, and let's see what is the message coming from the deepest part of your soul, guys. For my lovely palm number three soul, what would you like to tell yourself? The deepest part of palm number three soul, what is the message that you would like to point out to palm number three? What is something that palm number three needs to hear at this moment? The deepest part of palm number three's soul. Okay, the first thing I heard for you guys is that you are protected. And I'm also hearing keep protecting what is yours. Keep protecting what is meant to be yours is also what I'm getting here. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. We have the High Priestess. I feel like you guys are really actually in tune with your soul and your intuition. Uh, whereas maybe palm number two felt very disconnected. I feel that you guys are actually very in tune with your soul and your intuition. King of Wands, okay. I heard that your soul is protecting you. Your soul is taking really good care of you right now. It's supporting you. Uh, you also have the Moon. Ooh, I like this, okay. And your last card is the King of Cups. What you guys need to hear from the deepest part of your soul is that you are safe and protected as you put yourself through new experiences or you want to emerge yourself into the unknown uh, with the king of wands and the moon maybe some of you I, I feel like this switch is flying out somewhere so if some of you have been wanting to move somewhere we see with the world here maybe have been deciding on which place to go uh, you can trust your soul you can trust your intuition make you, when you make the decision or if you guys are going somewhere soon know that you will be taken care of know that you will be protected on this journey uh, because i feel that like you guys are again you're actually very in tune with your soul and you're very in tune with your intuition because you have the high priestess presence so it's telling me that this is very much awakened for you guys it feels like your third eye is like working really well is kind of what i'm getting so you can rely on your soul and your intuition to protect you to take care of you from unwanted experiences is what i'm getting again with the black cat here is telling me that there is good luck energy around you at this moment king of wands this is about kind of being a bit more bold right taking risks so it does feel like maybe if you're moving somewhere it could feel like a risk or if you're planning to expand in some kind of way it could feel like a risk to you guys because I feel that you are kind of um, positioning yourself right now to step into something that might feel a bit risky or unknown. But you have the King of Cups. This is like your soul is backing you up. That's what I'm getting. Your soul is like giving you the, the positive, like go ahead, pursue this. You can do this, believe in yourself. There's support and love coming from your soul. I feel that is the message that they 
want to deliver to you today especially have the kiss card and this card is all about you know intimacy love passion so i do feel that your soul is like actually very much connected with you we see the two hands holding each other so um you know there there it feels like you have established a really strong connection with your soul with your intuition so you can trust what you're currently feeling what you're currently experiencing and where this is all leading you towards um i kind of want to get maybe two more cards to see anything else but so far i'm kind of seeing that your soul is just saying that you are connected with it and that you can pursue this journey because you're protected but maybe that's all you need to hear let's see i don't know let's get two more cards to see if there's anything else that your soul would like to tell you guys maybe where you're going or where you're headed anything about that eight of pentacles and the judgment i feel that you guys are actually very much aligned especially um goal wise or because the judgment card is the card of the life purpose um so i feel that a lot of you're actually very much aligned when it comes to your work so again i'm just getting the message of like keep doing what you're doing because you're in alignment okay pursue the path that you're currently on because it's your life purpose, it's your destiny, you're on the right path, that's what I'm hearing for you, that's what your soul wanna tell you, wants to tell you, you guys are on the right path, so just keep pursuing, keep doing what you're doing, keep, um, you know, even if you want to step into the unknown, it's a part of your life purpose, you're going to be protected in it, let's get some oracle cards for you, pile number three, and let's see, what does the deepest part of your soul want to tell you today, for my lovely pile number three, Let's see you guys have nurture it's okay to want to stay home and be alone i deserve days to myself days to relax and simply be i honor how i feel and take this day to do the things that feel nurturing to me this is exactly why i feel that a lot of you are in alignment because i feel that you're the type of people who are maybe um not afraid to spend a day alone maybe you prefer to even spend your days alone or just spend your days maybe at home just enjoying the simple things like relaxing or maybe going on a walk with your pet that's kind of why i feel that like you guys are really in tune with your intuition and your soul because the soul craves these kinds of activities it really craves um I find that the soul doesn't really like to always be surrounded by people and it doesn't always need, you know, crazy things happening and so much like adrenaline, right? Although it wants fun, right? And and it wants um like adventure. It craves for it, right? But it also there is this part of it where it's like, okay, I just need to stay at home today and I just want to, you know, chill with my pet have a nice meal the soul craves these kinds of activities because they're very grounding they're very peaceful and that's why i feel you guys maybe practice this often or you're the type of a person who knows that you need to spend most of your time alone in order to feel your best to feel uh, the most in tune with your intuition that's kind of why i feel that a lot of you are actually uh, the most aligned the most connected with your soul from the piles today so your soul is just kind of like here to support you i feel through this reading today to let you know that you're amazing you're doing the right thing that's what i'm hearing for you guys let's see the deepest part of palm number three soul what is something you would like to tell yourself right now maybe there's something that your soul wants to reveal to you guys let's see let's get something interesting have the polar bear with oh my god again you have nurture well allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed if you guys are going through any anxieties at the moment maybe you're experiencing any doubts anything like that it's kind of just getting to go back to like your space right go back to your um state of deep connection with your soul yeah you have nurtured twice that's really interesting maybe you maybe your soul just wants you to nurture it a little bit more maybe you guys it, this is like maybe a reminder for some of you to kind of take the day off um release any anxieties any worries that you have maybe they're minor for you right but just gently like you know just you know i'm kind of getting with the couch just like maybe right now like sit down on your couch just close your eyes for like a minute and just breathe and that's all you need to do and just like imagine all of your worries all of your anxiety is going away because it does feel like you're maybe planning for something big and it could feel overwhelming right uh because you have the king of wands and the moon it's telling me that you guys are kind of preparing yourself for something that it feels a bit unknown you know it's kind of like when you're planning to travel somewhere for the first time ever and you don't really know how to expect what to expect and how to get around and 
um, how the society works there, right? So it feels like you're preparing yourself for something that's a bit unknown here. And it's very normal for us to feel a little bit anxious or worried at times when we do those things. So this is kind of like your soul just telling you like, you can always go back to that state of peacefulness. Just gently allow any anxiety to be released. I see this working out that wherever you guys are headed is going to end up like being really good for you. Oh, this card fell on the ground. So you guys have flow here. Again, something about balance, flow, peace. You also have creativity. I'm hearing allow your creativity to flow. Um, connect with your creativity. Connect with your creative side. I'm honestly just seeing a lot of you are currently in alignment with your energy. You are feeling pretty good. Um, I feel that your soul just kind of wants to... Maybe confirm with you that you have a really deep connection with your soul. I feel that this reading is maybe just like confirmation for a lot of you who are watching it. Like, yes, okay, that's me. Yes, that's me. Uh, but it feels like you guys are so deeply connected with your soul that your soul is just like, you already know what I'm telling you to do. Or you already know all the answers. Or you are already headed there. Uh, right for some of you at times the the journey might seem a bit uncertain or what you're getting yourself into it might seem a bit uncertain because you have the moon card but we got the eight of pentacles and the judgment which is clarifying that you're pursuing your life purpose right now or you're moving towards pursuing your life purpose so you shouldn't have any doubts there that's something that i'm getting maybe that's just reassurance coming from your soul but I want to end your reading today with some self-care tips and some advice from your soul. So let's see if your soul can give you any advice and tips on how to take better care of yourself at the moment. For my lovely poem number three. So do you have any advice for yourself? Let's see. Okay, let's take a look at your cards. So you have make a vision board number three, three. Maybe you guys can spend some time to make a vision board. Maybe uh, if you already have a vision board, look back on it to remind you why you started and why you're going through all of this. Um, because it does feel like you guys have some big plans, some big visions for your future. I mean, we see with the king of wands here they're like on the map and they're like mapping things out they're planning things out and it's very similar to right now to right like creating a vision board. So. I want to say that you're in alignment with your visions, you're in alignment with your goals. And if some of you haven't done this, it's a really good practice to just kind of keep around, like keep the board around your home, to watch it, to look at it every day. It kind of helps you just like feel more in alignment every single day. So I feel like you guys are already aligned, but maybe this is something that you can do to kind of like even solidify it even more. And you also have be bold, don't be afraid to stand out. Wow, I like this. Make a vision board and be bold, don't be afraid to stand out. I mentioned some of you, you want to step into the unknown. You want to do something like that feels really big or it feels a bit like risky or like, you know, it feels unknown in that kind of sense. So be bold with your actions at the moment. Again, I feel that you guys are really in alignment with your journey. And I mentioned that you guys are protected. So... This is telling me that you are safe to make bold actions at the moment. It's telling me that you're safe to take a risk. You're safe to pursue what you're currently doing because it, you are protected in this. And this is in alignment with you. This is in alignment with your path, with your destiny, with your soul. So your soul is not giving me like a warning energy, like stop doing this. You know, it's giving me like pursue. We're in alignment. We're aligned to what we want to do, to what will make us truly happy, to where we will find our happiness. Uh, it's all in the works still, but you're getting there and you're walking the path. You're walking the right path. That's what I'm hearing from your soul. So don't be bold. Don't be afraid to be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out, to do something that's different because that's going to set you apart from everybody else and it's going to make you shine. I do feel that you guys, maybe you know what this card is like telling me whatever you have on your vision board right now will come true as long as you're bold, as long as you're not afraid to stand out. Maybe you have like a, like a lot of big goals. I mean, you know, maybe you want to become somebody who is very well known, somebody who is very powerful, who has a reputation of some kind. Um, or you want to create a difference in some kind of way in your life. So just don't be afraid to be bold with your moves with your intentions. I'm seeing something about your appearance is gonna make you stand out or maybe something about like your hair, your makeup, your the way that you dress. I feel that's something that about you that is very like outstanding and will catch a lot of attention of people. 
So again, your soul is just telling you, you're in alignment, you're doing really well. Just trust the process and trust of where we are headed. Uh, but that's what I have for you today, pile number three. I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.